Hello and welcome, this is Shane from IamImpact.com with another quick answer video. Today's question comes from David and his, his question is very simple. What do you do to keep spam, spam comments low on your websites? Now, this concerns WordPress, that's the thing I use, so the same rules might not apply on other platforms. But here we go. For WordPress, um, well, first of all, there is Akismet, I'm not entirely sure if that's how you pronounce it. This is the pre-installed um, spam prevention plugin that you get. I think the situation with Akismet is that it used to be free a couple of years ago and then it changed to free for personal use. But if you have a commercial website, which if you're watching this, you probably have, um, you have to pay a very small fee. Now, Akismet is pretty good. It, it does a pretty good job of preventing spam. It does get some false positives. I do have to, that's what I use on one of my sites. Um, and I do have to fish out legitimate comments out of the spam every once in a while. Now, if you don't want to use Akismet or you want to avoid paying for it, um, here are some free solutions. There is one that's called GASP, that is a G-A-S-P. That is another WordPress plugin, which is free to use and which uses a fairly simple spam prevention method, which basically tricks um, spam bots into canceling out their own comments, so to speak. And uh, that I've, I've used that on a couple of sites. That does a pretty good job. It's not 100%. I mean, no spam prevention plugin is ever going to catch all of the spam, but it does a pretty good job. So that's GASP. Um, another one, and to find this, you, you just go to the WordPress plugins, you type GASP into the search field and you'll find that. Um, another one is you can use, well, there are many third party systems you can use for comments. So you can use Facebook comments, Google Plus comments, um, Discuss, Live Fire, and there's probably lots of others that I don't know about. Now, all of those have their own built in spam prevention thing, and all of them are free to use. I have personally used Facebook comments on several sites and the, the advantage with Facebook comments is that there's a social, certain social uh, viral factor there because, um, well, I think the way it works is that people have to opt out of also sharing the comment on their wall so that when they leave a comment on your site, it might show up in their, in their activity and other people might see that and come to your site and so on, join the discussion. Another great thing about Facebook comments, and this is probably also true for most of these other commenting systems, is that there's an automatic subscription essentially, so that if you reply to someone, they will get a notification about that. Um, whereas with you know with WordPress comments, you have to get a separate plugin that takes care of that kind of thing. All right, now the downside obviously is with Facebook comments, or let's say with Google Plus comments. Clearly, you know, not many people have a Google Plus account or, or actively use that. So clearly, if you put Google Plus comments on your site, you're excluding a lot of people from leaving a comment. And the same is true for Facebook comments. I mean, Facebook has a huge user base, but not everybody is a Facebook user. So you're excluding some people from using that. Or also, you know, maybe they can't use uh, Facebook at their workplace and they're looking at your site at the workplace and they can't leave a comment on all that. So uh, that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, here's something that that works for me as a very simple spam prevention method that's completely free. Here's what I do. I have comments, the, the regular WordPress comments, I leave them open for five days. Go into WordPress settings discussion and you can automatically, you can set comments to automatically close after a couple of days. So I leave regular WordPress comments open for five days and I have Facebook comments that are always open. The result here is that the thing is, what I've seen is that most of, usually like 90% of all real comments happen in the first five days after publishing a post because it's your subscribers, your email readers and so on, they come there, they leave comments, right? And and you can easily get 10,000 visitors from Google and not one of them leaves a comment. So um, yeah, most of the legitimate, legitimate comments happen in the first five days or so and most of the spam comments happen later because the spam bots don't find your post instantly. Usually they don't anyway. And this has worked really well for me. So that 
for, for the first five days, anyone can leave either a normal WordPress comment or a Facebook comment. After five days, if they want to leave a comment, it has to be a Facebook comment. And the result is almost zero spam with no plugins or anything like that activated. And that's it. Those are my spam prevention tips for WordPress.